Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Baruka Kwadash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth, and also for ruling well. Then peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, laboring in the vine in these last days, and also to those who are sincerely seeking the truth, Shalom. So I had this um these articles that I saved on my phone. I think it was on the third of January. I found it on the ROT News. So I wanted to do a video, a lesson on it, but you know, I haven't been able to do it. So I am going to do it today and I hope someone, you know, is edified by this short lesson. So I would like to play this video first, okay, which is also taken from the ROT News, which is the World Economic Forum. Okay, so let's see what it says then. We'll come on. Okay, as you just saw the video, you see, um, what I just want to point out is it's really, you know, we still have many of these jakes, you know, praying and hoping this year becomes a better year, you know, all this, um, all this um, crown, crown royale, you know, it, it goes away and they can start and get back to a normal life, you know, you still have many of them still believing that they can get back to a normal life. But, you know, these people are really in for a rude awakening, you know. So this is just, you know, this is even just the news, you know. We're not talking about, you know, what's in the scriptures. This is just what the news is already preparing you guys to show you what's, what's about to come. So I don't know if you, if you noticed really well, you see this video. Let's go back a bit, you know. See, they say scientists will have worked out how to keep you healthy in space, you know, all this madness, you know. So they say they can't even print you an organ, you know. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to, you know, guarantee you certain things, you know, you see. That's the, well, uh, this is madness. This is madness. And, you know, many of, many Jakes are falling for this, you know. So I'd like to read. From the book of um, Psalm chapter 10. So let me start from verse 2. He says, The wicked and his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in their devices that they, they, that they have imagined. Okay. But you see, poor Jakes, they don't understand. Most of them don't understand that, you know, the sons of Esau, the so-called white men, they have nothing, no plan of good for them. You know, they have no plan to do anything good for them. You know, but they are blinded by all these philosophies and, you know, the wine of of the wine of this, you know, so-called white man, you know. So for the wicked boasted in his heart's desires and blessed the covetous womb the Lord abhorred, you know. 
the wicked they do all sort of wickedness you know and you know they do things that are against the commandments of the most high you know if the most high says we shouldn't do certain things you know they're all fighting for the laws and rules to make these things happen you know legalizing gay marriages you know legalizing um um stuffs like men could give birth to children you know two men can live together and raise up a child you know all sorts of abomination you know they haven't done anything good in these past years they've only done evil you know but you see the people are getting blind day by day you know getting blinded and they're not saying all these things and woe also onto onto those fake teachers you know that are teaching them all this philosophies even in the house of house of israel you know just like the book of um jeremiah is it chapter 23 that says like that you know so his ways are always grievous thy judgments are far above out of his sight as for all his enemy he profit at them you know these white men they are so proud you can see in their face you can see it and this is what's going to be also going to bring down their kingdom you know his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Okay? You know, so all this nonsense that they're coming to tell you that, you know, the, the, the jabs are good for you. They're going to prevent you. Like over here in Italy, you know, I'm really, really disappointed, man. You know, in, in a city of Naples where you have, you know, a huge number of jakes there. You know, you just see these jakes, you know, queuing up to get these jabs, man. These jakes are really stupid, man. They are stupid, man. They are blind. They don't, they don't have any understanding in them, you know. They line up, queue up, you know. Long queue to take this, these jabs, you know. <laughs> well, anyway, it means they are not part of the so-called elect and they are not meant to be saved. So he seated in the locking places and the, of the villages, in the secret places that he murder the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. And who are the poor? The sons of Israel who've been taking, you know, slaves. You know, the system is actually built to enslave us, you know. So those are the brothers who are, you know, sent slaves, you know, um, talking about the so-called Negroes, the Native Americans and the Latinos, you know. And they came down to West Africa. You know, took many of our brothers, you know, took them to the Americas, you know. The Jakes actually built America. The Jakes actually built Europe, you know. So, you know, the system actually have been set up to put you under, to put the Jakes under, you know. Uh, and, yeah, I was also watching um, a lesson from the Apostle Taha and he made mention that, you know, you have some regular, some regular Edomites, you know, they have money in their accounts. You know, they have savings and stuff like that should in case anything happen. But, you know, for a Jake, it's almost impossible to have such, to live such life, you know. So that's where you know they actually built the system not to be convenient for a Jake, okay. So, he crouched and humbled himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Man... Man, we should start praying for the most high Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to open our eyes to teach us this truth. Because, you know, if you don't know this truth, man, you're blind, you're gone. You know, and this is exactly what they do. They, they, they come like they are humble. They come like they love you. They speak with sweet tongue, just like the, the madman in the Vatican has, has always done, you know. But their mouth is full of deceits and lies and poison, you know. They are the snake. That's why they were called the snake at, at the first, you know, in the Garden of Eden. It's still the same people. So, um, he had set in his heart, God had forgotten. He hid his face. He will never see it. You know, this is exactly what they did, you know, through all through history. The icon, I, 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 icon, 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 see, I can't even pronounce it. The iconoclasm icon classroom or something like that, you know, during the during the Rena um the Renascita in Italian, which is the Renaissance, sorry. Yeah, during the time of Renaissance, you know, when they started painting the world images and changing everything, you know. So, you know, they they actually they actually got us because, you know, all Jakes, most of us we fell for their lies. 
you know the most high just opened the eyes of many starting for the from the elder apostles you know so they think that you know having gotten we humans they can also hide all these things from the most high man these edomites are in for a rude awakening man that's why their heart is never set to to follow the the most high how bashem how shy you know they are just a race of people who are against the most high and they are evil okay and so yeah that's it i just wanted to share this um i also have um i also have this article article that i you know so they're actually here speaking this is where i got the video from you know they're speaking about a vax a vaccine passport okay sorry Okay, you can see it right there they're speaking actually about a, a maxine passport for everybody so if you don't get this job you know you can't move you know is, is the scriptures not speaking about all this that one would desire to go into a city and would not be able you see help passports and this is all the plan of this sons of Esau, you know to get you guys all under and once you take this you know um it's a it's a it's a free ticket to take in the mark of the beast which is the microchip, which is coming up next, okay? So, you know, you all better get prepared and wake up from this, um, from your slumber because, you know, you have many Jakes still hoping that this year is going to be a better one. They're going to be successful this year. They're going to get blessed this year. Oh, they're in, they're in for a rude awakening, okay? I hope this short lesson was um, edifying. And having said this, I would like to give all praises, all honor, glory, thanks, and adoration to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukah Kodash, and once again, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. On to the next one, Shalom.